habitable townhouse built in stone on two floors with garden, terrace and garage. Entering on the ground floor, we have the access to the living room. That is huge with a vaulted ceiling, a fireplace and eating system. On the same floor we find the kitchen that has uh, the boiler and also an ancient two sinks actually but one is the ancient built in stone. We enter in another room that could be used uh, like uh, an hallway and there's uh, another entrance, the water tank reserve and the bathroom, a full bathroom with bath tube. Now we enter in the garage that is small but could be for a little car with a cellar that could be used for storage and upon it we find another storage compartment. Going out from the garage, we can see that there is the access from the road with a small car. But there is the chance to make another access from the garden, more comfortable and using also a bigger car. The garden is around 60 square meter and it's all fenced. So the house has actually three accesses. The staircase uh, that he is equipped with uh, a lift uh, for disabled person are comfortable and brings to the first floor where we find a long corridor that brings to the two double bedrooms. Both uh, are equipped uh, with uh, a ventilator to the ceiling with light and a balcony facing on the main street. Here we have also the edge to reach the attic, usable for another storage compartment. In the corridor there are two asses for the terrace and there is heating system also on this floor that works with gas. The second double bedroom that is similar to the first one with a good size is equipped as well with ventilator and balcony. The house is habitable and in good condition. On this floor we have also a bathroom with shower.
The terrace has a size of around 30 square meter from where you can enjoy a nice view on the surrounding hills and on the garden. San Felice del Molise is located on an isolated hill which dominates the surrounding area where it's possible to enjoy a beautiful landscape ranging from the Gargano to the Tremiti Island and then up to the mountains of Abruzzo and Molise. In the town there is bakery, pharmacy, butcher, two groceries restaurant and agriturismo, post office and bar. Many are the festivals. One of the most important is Palio of Barrels, unique in Molise. On this day, the town square becomes a market in which producers from neighboring territories showcasing local products, wine, dairy products, sweets and San Joseph pizza and traditional crafts. In the afternoon, the Palio of Barres, a race in which different teams push large bars along a predetermined path in the shortest possible time. San Felice del Molise, together with the villages of Acquaviva con le Croce, Montemitro and Tavenna, constitute the ethnic linguistic minority of Croatian origin in Molise, landed in different periods and places on the Abruzzo and Molise coasts. The Church of Santa Maria di Costantinopoli, dating back to the 12th century, with its bell tower and four wooden altars and the Baroque-style organ covered in pure gold which can now be admired in all their splendor after the restoration. About 15 minutes by car from the town, we found the Church of Santa Maria Divina, Madonna del Castello, a religious and non-religious destination where during Easter a procession is held using old walking paths which lead from the town to this place. The church was built in 1910 on the ruins of a castle where it is said a princess named Cecilia lived, who died in Rome in the concept of sanctity. The surrounding area around the church is ideal for parties and picnics. It's perfectly equipped with picnics as tables, barbecues, a small playground for children, all surrounded by a large expanse of greenery.
don't lose this chance to buy a property in Molise with an amazing price, garden, garage and terrace. Thank you for watching this video and please follow us for the next one. Bye!